Hello. 14 weeks out, three and a half months. For those of us that need a little bit of help with some math, just a quick little update today. It feels like I haven't done one of these in forever, like months, but it's only been two weeks. Uh, it's just been crazy because the holidays and everything feels like it's been a long time. To be honest, not a lot has changed because of the holidays and, and all that. I've only had a couple PT sessions and I haven't really progressed much because I had a little setback and we'll talk about it. But I just wanna do a quick little update, letting you know how things are going, the plan, and kind of just help you guys with some new rehab or some insight into where you could or should be around this time. So like I mentioned, 14 weeks. The idea is that in two more weeks, so at four months, uh, I can try to run full body weight in a controlled environment, meaning like the treadmill, not like uneven ground outside, but just like on the treadmill. However, um, my the bottom of my foot, my calf and my Achilles are still at war they're kind of like playing tug of war with each other so like if one is is t super tight um and then i kind of like baby it the other one starts to pull it's just kind of like a lose-lose situation happening and neither of them will release so at the moment my calf seems to be doing better and the bottom of my foot seems to be just my plantar fascia just angry so I am putting a lot of work into that. I'm not super like good at being patient with things. So I was a little bit too aggressive with it for a while. And then the other day, about a week ago, I was doing lateral lunges and something happened and I tweaked my toe, the joint kind of right next to where my foot's aggravated. So my toe got a little messed up and I wasn't really able to walk much like last week. So I haven't been running in the Alter G and I haven't been doing really any like thing that aggravates it because we need my toe to heal now so that I can progress with my ankle. My ankle itself feels great. Like I mentioned, my only limitations at the moment are like my foot, my Achilles, my calf. So the ankle itself is doing really good. So I haven't really been diagnosed with anything wrong with my toe. It's like, feels kind of like I jammed it really bad, but it also kind of feels like turf toe. So we just are trying to be patient and wait and see if it gets better while like treating it kind of, like treating the joint and mobilizing it a little bit because it's really stiff. Within the next two weeks, being patient, taking some time off my foot, doing my ankle exercises that don't aggravate my toe. If everything feels fine, while walking, including my calf, Achilles, foot, and toe, I can proceed to running at the four month mark. If it doesn't feel pain-free, totally normal with walking, then we have to wait until it does in order to run. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, as of right now, I'm just biking and then doing my lifting. I was doing the stairs before my toe. So once my toe feels better, I'll go back to that. And then I could in theory do an elliptical, but I'm not really a fan, so I don't do it. Uh, so really, the only thing to let you guys know are my new rehab exercises and then that's it. Um, I know I usually touch on kind of like the mental side of things and how I'm doing, so I will include that. Even though I, I don't think a lot has changed. The setback kind of brought me down a little, but I kind of have my mindset like set. <laughs> I know what to do to keep me positive and moving forward and that's what I've been doing. You know, things get tough, stuff happens, so I'm just looking at the bright side of everything and putting the work in really, to be honest. Working on my hips and my stomach, which is taking a little bit off of my ankle, like the focus, so it's kind of nice, like I'm kind of doing it all together very like <laughs> anyways so my mental side of things is good as always if you have any questions or just need somebody to talk to and you're going through something similar please reach out i would love to help anybody that needs somebody to talk to uh just feels like nobody understands because hopefully i will all right so let's get into the ankle exercises the new ankle exercises last week i posted an entire rehab routine so this week we're going to go back to just the new ones i believe i only have four new ones 
So I have single leg calf raises, which to be honest, I may have been doing in my last <laughs> rehab update, but I wasn't, apparently I wasn't supposed to be doing them. I thought I was, maybe I wasn't. So I'm full on single leg calf raises. Another prerequisite that I have to meet before running is doing at least 20 single leg calf raises in a row. I get to about six or eight right now and then I start to fatigue and I transition to double leg up and just single leg eccentric. So once I can get to 20 in a row, then I can start thinking about running. I'm very anxious to run if you didn't catch on to that. <laughs> I don't really like any other form of cardio. To be honest, I haven't even asked about swimming because I don't really have access to a pool, but I'd be interested. I bet I could swim soon. Hmm. Anyways, okay, so single leg calf raises and then ABCs and or circles. So I can do like ABCs or I need to be doing ABCs with my foot um, hanging off of a like seat. And then I can also do circles if I want, which I really like to do. I usually just do the ABCs uppercase and then the ABCs lowercase and then circles and I'm pretty fatigued and that's that for the day. And then I can do inversion and eversion with resistance from a band. So those are my four new exercises. It's really like not that much different than what I've been doing other than I can do strength now side to side, which is the inversion and eversion that I'm talking about. And of course, I'll show you a clip right here of all four new exercises, but I'm not gonna do a voiceover. I'm just gonna play some music over it. So, uh, pretty much just trying to keep it like slow and controlled at a steady pace with all of these, like with the ABCs, not like being jerky, just smooth through the letters. With the calf raise, same thing, smooth to the top, smooth through the bottom, never like jolty and jerky. And then the same thing with the uh, inversion and eversion, I wanna be smooth through and you'll see that I'm not with all these things. So you'll be able to see when I'm kind of, you know, I fight it and then I kind of feel awkward and I, I don't have good control. So the goal is to obviously get stronger in all of these movements, but also gain control so that you're very in charge of the movements. This is one of the main struggles after a surgery or even an injury is kind of getting full control of those of that body part back. So. That's pretty much it. I dry needled my calf and my foot this week and they're feeling a lot better, like a lot better. We had a really good release. So I'm hoping things are looking up from here. This plantar fascia, I really, really wanna keep an eye on because after you're in a boot or a cast, you're more susceptible to getting plantar fasciitis because that, that tissue has been at rest and it's tightened up. So then when you start walking again, you start to aggravate it and it gets inflamed and eventually it leads to plantar fasciitis. So hopefully I can avoid that by being very diligent in my um, soft tissue uh, manipulation and dry noodling and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, just a real quick update today and I will see you guys at the four month mark and fingers crossed that I will report that I have ran and if not, it's okay and it'll probably just be a couple more weeks before I can run. There's no need to rush into that and then potentially take that one step forward too early and it put me like three, four steps back. So I'm being patient. I'm trying to listen to my therapist and, and really listen to my body and not just like force running just because I want to run so flipping bad. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. I know that there wasn't a lot here, but if you're still following the journey, thank you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe below, hit the notification bell so it just reminds you when I post. I always hit the notification bell on everybody's YouTube that I like to watch because it's just nice to know that they've posted so that you can go watch if you want. And uh, stay tuned because I will have some new stuff coming up that is not super ankle specific, but like other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? 